Good afternoon. I'm streaming this conversation to you live today from the Rupert First Sanctuary really for one reason. It's because I want to invite you to tune in this Sunday to rupertfirst.church and click on the live stream tab. Do this at 1015 and you'll be able to be part of our worship service here with Rupert First Assembly. I'm doing this because I, I need to make you aware we as uh, the leadership of Rupert First Assembly, that is Pastor Sylvia, myself, and the board have decided to cancel all meetings until further notice. We understand the tension that, that exists in life between trusting God and believing Him for health and wholeness and also being cautious and walking in wisdom. Um, and truly right now I am, I am choosing to walk in caution more for people who might attend church and have a compromised immune system. Um, honestly, as I began pondering service on Sunday, I thought, what would it be like if I had someone attend and they ended up in the hospital or worse? And church family, that's something that I just didn't want to, to bear on my own shoulders. So and that's the reason that we've decided to cancel church. Now, with that in mind, I want you to understand that we're not getting rid of worship, we're actually substituting it. We're going from live worship here in the sanctuary to live stream worship inside all of your homes. I believe that this is a good thing. I believe that this is something that God can truly use to bless our entire community. Every time that there have been challenges in churches, every time there have been trials or persecution, God has blessed and people have come to the knowledge and faith in, of faith in Jesus Christ. I believe that that's what's going to happen now. I believe that such a time as this has never existed where I could be standing in Rupert, Idaho, and my conversation could be broadcast miles and miles away and maybe even arriving in homes somewhere across the world. When you think of that, when you think of the power of the local church being able to step outside the walls in such a radical way, it's really mind-blowing. I pray that you'll choose to be a part of this. I pray that you'll tune in this Sunday morning at 1015 and worship God with us. It's going to be a beautiful experience. I also pray that you'll start uh, paying attention to the Facebook page at Rupert First Assembly and also the website where we will update you about other events, times that we hope to worship in a, a similar way, just different times of learning that can be broadcast and and maybe inviting you to have a watch party with your friends or inviting you to have a, a spontaneous prayer service right in your own home and then just pro, uh, post it to the Facebook page. The possibilities are, are limitless when you think of how we can, um, we can have church because church isn't the building. Church is the community of believers. So I want to take a minute right now and just pray a blessing, just a short one over you. So... If you'll just bow your hearts with me. Father, thank you for each who are watching this broadcast today, who are having this conversation with me right now. I pray, God, that you would abundantly bless them and their families with health and wholeness. God, I pray for any uncertainty or anxiety, God, would, would be far from them. That, God, they would be rock solid and founded on their faith in you, Jesus, knowing that you are the author and the finisher and that you are also their provider. Bless them abundantly. Grant them great health and peace in this time of uncertainty. In the mighty name of Jesus, through God's Holy Spirit, amen. Bless you, Rupert First Friends. Bless you, Rupert Community. Bless you, Minikasia.